I'd like to now move on to the vision. Some of you have probably been asking the question, the vision of this user's conference theme, GIS, understanding our world. It's an interesting, an interesting thought that you are helping create understanding in the world. Today, our world is challenged, as you know. It's changing rapidly, and we are increasingly understanding the role of humans in that change. On many fronts, we are having challenges in our own organizations and the world itself. Climate change, urbanization and land use, security, poverty, and inequality. These are difficult things to deal with, and they're affecting us as individuals, and they're affecting our organizations. It's my sense, in order to really address these things, we can't just keep doing it the way we have. We need a different approach. We need, actually, collective intelligence and collective understanding to take on the responsibilities in our own way, in our own organizations, and as global citizens to deal with these challenges. What is understanding? I've spent a lot of time in the last month and a half thinking about that, trying to define it. Understanding is about knowing. It's quite human. You know what knowing is about. It's built on real experiences and reasoning and thinking about things. Knowing enables you to understand and think and predict and explain and add meaning and have insight into things. Our minds are the framework within which all of this happens. It's just a remarkable thing. They organize for us and synthesize and integrate our understanding. This is where it happens. GIS is extending our minds. It's an assertion that I'll make and hope that you buy into this assertion. It's extending our minds by abstracting our world into those knowledge objects that you create and maintain, data, imagery, models that explain process and workflows, and maps which communicate and are persistent in apps. They're likewise creating a kind of systematic framework for understanding. And our collective work creates a kind of collective understanding, if we could just bring it together. GIS is a very practical system. When Roger and his colleagues first began to come up with these ideas, they thought about the power of bringing things together, supporting individuals or groups or organizations. And today, GIS integrates and synthesizes our information, bringing it from many sources. It also facilitates communication and collaboration, kind of a language. It also breaks down barriers between organizations, institutions. This is part of its power. I'll assert that it's becoming an essential new language for understanding. That's a powerful thought. GIS is actually changing rapidly, as we know. It's evolving co-evolving. It's not a linear thing. It's an organic thing that's co-evolving with a lot of other technologies, measurement technologies, which are creating huge volumes of geospatial data. The data itself is growing in volume, and we have to deal with that. And there are new sources, like crowdsourcing. And there are new issues, like privacy and access, that we're struggling with how to deal with each of you in your own organizations. And computing continues to evolve more, had it right. We're still growing, accelerating, and learning how to virtualize our computing environments. And new metaphors are arising, like the cloud and software as a service. And our networks that connect all these things, connectivity, are enabling new kinds of networks, like social networks, to occur. And our science is likewise changing, becoming more quantitative in every discipline, and more integrated, and more analytic, and more real-time, and more predictive. These are very interesting 
progressions that we see in the world at large. And GIS itself is evolving. It's becoming able to manage the larger data sets, becoming multidimensional, three-dimensional, time, and dimensional, and becoming much easier to use. Usability, a big discipline that my colleagues and I are working on a lot, and you are working on in your applications. How do we make it so that anyone can engage with this world? All of this evolution is, I think, the foundation for this notion of understanding our world. A new pattern for GIS is emerging. It's making GIS available to everyone. This is a long progression of efforts, but it's basically bringing our work, substantial authoritative source information, and blending it in the web with other work, social network information, and then making all of that available through lightweight viewers and mobile devices so that we can actually have access to the sum of the parts, a greater context of information in our organizations. And this is happening not just in the broader context, but also within organizational structures. A question that might occur to you is, will this pattern be broadly adopted? Will it just be by GIS professionals or a broader audience? I've thought a lot about this. And uh, my sense of it is, yes, it will be broadly adopted. It'll connect you, GIS professionals, with knowledge workers and managers and policy people and citizens. It'll extend your reach. And it'll also empower them to participate in the same network environment, the sh same shared infrastructure, the same common services, creating shared understanding. And this is true not, at the global, not only at the global level, but also within your organizational context.